Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to install LibrePlan, an online open source project management software that runs off Ubuntu desktop server. LibrePlan is an open source web application project that allows for project planning, monitoring, and control. So when we talk about LibrePlan, it allows us primarily to do with project management, where we can download and install and customize this application for free. We can manage multiple projects through this particular application, and we can even connect LibreOffice to other third-party applications because its infrastructure is quite uh, compatible. There's some community things. There's learning more about LibrePlan, the online demo. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to open in a new window, the features page, where we can just see that LibrePlan offers resource management, planning, tracking data, and monitoring and control. If I scroll down, it also talks about connecting, and then there's some more. So basically the same thing on the main page. If I want to download and install LibrePlan, there's a download at the bottom, but the easiest one to find is one under Community, where there's a download section. When I go ahead and click on that, it's going to take me to the download page. It does give a disclaimer that there isn't anything for Windows Server right now, it's just for Linux. We're going to be using Ubuntu Desktop 14.04, even though it doesn't appear under this particular section. I tested it, it still worked just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste each line. So I'm first going to highlight the first line, copy it, and then I want to go to Terminal in Ubuntu, and then paste it in Terminal. Go ahead, hit Enter. I'll ask for the administrative password. I'll type that in. Then it's going to go ahead and add the repository so that it can install LibrePlan. Once all the repositories show, we'll be done, and we can go back to the web page to highlight and copy and paste the next line. Go ahead, copy, and then we'll go back to terminal and paste for the update. This just updates the data on the server to make sure that it has all the right repository information. Once that's done, then we can go back and we can highlight the final line and then copy and paste that as well. If you check the written tutorial, we will have each of these lines also in the written tutorial as well. I'm going to go ahead, enter, and then this one I will have to hit enter to confirm and then it will go ahead and install all the different components. So this part does take quite a bit of time. It does have a lot, but there will be a section in which it will show that we have to allow a database to be created. So we're going to hit yes. We're going to give it a password for the user. So we type in the password, we confirm it, and then after that, it'll keep going. So we let the install continue to run. This is going to install Tomcat, which is a Java-based web server because the application uses Java. So once all that's done, we're actually good to go. We can now go back to the web browser and we can then navigate to our server. So I'm going to be typing in our uh, testing server that we use, but we have to also append the port 8080 and then LibrePlan. If you don't have your own domain, and you would like to use a free one, we're just going to have an annotation up for you to be able to use the no IP client in order to create a free dynamic DNS web address. Once we hit the login page, all we have to do is click the login button with the default admin and password. And then when we hit the dashboard, it will ask for us to change the admin password. We can just click that change password at the very bottom of the screen. Then that's going to take us to our admin profile in which we can go and then change our password. Once it gets here, all we have to do is put in a new password. We can fill out other information like first name and last name and email. We're not gonna worry about that right now, but you definitely will wanna put all that information in. We're just gonna put in our password, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then hit the save button at the bottom. So that's basically setting up LibrePlan using all the defaults of the pre-made package that is in the Ubuntu repository. It does say that there's a new version available and to get this version, you'd have to do the manual installation, which is going to be more complex than using this method. Before we go to that complex method, I just want to show some of the different functionalities. We have project planning, projects list, resource lists, 
queue-based resource planning. There's a bunch of headings at the top as well. These headings include resource allocation, cost, configuration, reporting, so anything that you would use really in a project management environment, whether it is managing your household or managing a large corporation. So that's just a basic overview of Libre Plan. It is an interesting online open source project to take a look at. Before signing off for today, one property that you may want to change is the default port. So here we see it's port 8080. And if Tomcat is going to be your only web server, then you may choose to put that on the default 80. If you already have a web server like Apache, you could just choose a different port number as well. So we're going to open up terminal again, and this time we're going to type sudo nano, and we're looking for a file under etc, tomcat6, and server.xml is the file we're looking for. We're going to type in our password, and now we're going to get to the server properties of tomcat. We need to scroll down quite a bit. We're going to see a service section, and within that service section is going to be the connector. There, there's going to be the port that we need to change. If I already have a web server like Apache or Nginx, I need to choose something that's not the default port 80. So maybe something like 1180, 2280, just something that's easy to remember. Or I can just keep it at port 80 if there's no other web server, which is what's in this particular case. Control O to save, Control X to exit. And then there's one last thing we have to do. We need to grant permissions for Tomcat to use that default port. So sudo nano in etc in defaults and then tomcat6. Here is another set of properties. We just need to scroll all the way down until we get to authentication bind. It will be commented out. So when we find authentication bind, which is A-O-T-H-B-I-N-D, we need to uncomment out that particular command and change the no to a yes. This then allows us to use the default port 8080 Control O to save, Control X to exit. And before we can see the changes, we need to restart our Tomcat 6 web server. So sudo service Tomcat 6 restart. Once all that's done, we can go back to our uh, Libre plan. And then when we go there, it's actually going to give us an error because of the fact that it is now set to a different port. So when we go ahead and go to our address, we can go ahead and delete that port 8080 and then hit enter, and then it will go ahead and reload. But now we're going to be at a new port that now we don't have to see a port on our web address. So that everything will look great, and then we will be able to continue using Libre Plan, make it a little bit more functional for our users. As it's just connecting again, it will kick us out so that we are going to have to log in again. So here we are at our login page. Once again, we just put in our user and our password. And then we will see that we're back in our library plan environment and in our address field, there is no port 8080. So those are the basic instructions for installing library plan onto an Ubuntu desktop server. We did use all the default settings. So if you are planning on deploying this in a more enterprise environment, you may want to consider a manual installation to improve the security of your project management software. Other advantages of doing a manual installation is once again, at the very bottom, there is a notification saying that there's a new version of Libre Plan, and we can only get that if we do a manual installation. So to do a manual installation, I'm first just going to go back to the Libra plan web page and then back to the downloads page. The manual installation instructions, so if you've been following along with this channel, you'll probably have enough skills to be able to do this. Or if you're a part of an IT group that knows Linux, then that you can also do it this way as well. We're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom of this download section. And under the other, there is installation instructions at install file. This will give us then the inst installation instructions for manual installation. And here there is a Debian and Ubuntu section. So here you can go through the steps here and actually be able to choose things like your Tomcat 6 policy, like your database policy, and then make those changes as needed. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. 
Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.